Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you, my dear? Fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you all? Nilokya, how are you? Fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. Havish, how are you? Fine, ma'am. Okay. Exams are over? No, ma'am. Still going on? Yes, ma'am. They are going to continue to like 10th September, I think. 10th September. Okay. These are your PTs, no? Periodic tests? No, ma'am. Model exams. Model exams. Okay. Model exams, ma'am. Model exams. Okay. Shall we prepare well? Right. Yes. Okay. Let everyone join in. Neha has to join, Adya has to join. We'll just wait for a few more minutes, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, today we'll revise a little bit of fractions also. Okay, because for your Sunday test, you have fractions coming. And it's been a long time we have revised fractions. Okay, so we'll just revise a little bit.
Okay, children, let's start. Hello. Okay, ma'am. Okay, you can turn on yes. your video. Let's start now. Okay, I'm sharing the screen. We'll do some sums. Okay, this is the previous page. Okay, let's continue from here. Okay, be ready with your pen, paper, notebook, and sit straight. Okay, this is a question now. Please write down. What is the perimeter of a square? What is the perimeter of a square having area having area same as of rectangle? Having area same as of rectangle of measurement sixteen meter into nine meters. Okay, now I'm repeating the question again. What is the perimeter of a square? You are asked to find the perimeter of a square. Having area same as that of a rectangle. That means the area of a square and the area of a rectangle are same. And you have to find the perimeter of a square. Okay. So to find the perimeter of a square, we should know one of its sides. Is it? Then only we can find the perimeter. And to know the side. How will we find out the side? We know that the area of a triangle, area of a square is the same as area of a rectangle. So area of a rectangle is length into breadth, which is 16 into 9. So please find out the area of a rectangle first. And same will be the area of the square. Yes, what it is? What is area of square? 144 meters. 144. 16 into 9 is 144 meters square. Okay. And area of a square is always given as side into side because all sides are equal. Okay, and that we know it is 144 meter square because area of square is equal to area of rectangle. So what will be the side here? What will be the side? One side. See, you have seen that although you have not done the square root part, you have always seen that when we multiply 12 into 12, we get 144. It has come in so many questions, is it? Yes, children. So 12 into 12 is 144. Right? So you can write here the side is 12 meters. Okay? One side of the square width is 12 meters. This is side of square. Okay, so when you know the side of square, can you find the perimeter? Find out the perimeter. Perimeter of a square is? Yes, Trilokya, what is the perimeter? 
from 48 meters. 48. That is 4 into side. So 4 into 12 will be 48. 48 meters. Right, children? See, this number 144 is a very common number. Okay, you must have seen it's come, it has come in so many questions, is it? There are some common perfect square numbers which are coming in many questions like 36, 49, 64, 144. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Because you have not studied the concept of squares and square roots now, no? So that's why you just have to learn this way that the square of some common numbers. Okay? Ma'am, ma I studied a bit. You have studied a bit. a bit? Okay. Okay, so these are some very common numbers. Like one square is one. One square means one into one is one. Two into two is four. 3 into 3 is 9. 4 into 4 is 16. Okay. Such numbers are square numbers. Okay. 5 into 5 is 25. 6 into 6 is 36. So, you have been coming across these type of numbers. No? 16, 25, 36. Right. Very frequently. Okay. Let's take another question. Question number two. Okay, this question is has a figure. A rectangular park. Please write down a rectangular park. Has length. Five meter. And breadth. 4 meter if 4 squares if 4 squares are formed along the boundary along the boundary of boundary of figure, okay, whatever figure you will be given of the figure, then you have to find what is the perimeter of the figure, what is the perimeter of the figure form. Okay, I'll explain the question again. See here, it's saying a rectangular park has length 5 meter and four breadth is 4 meter. Okay, so let's make some rectangle here like this. Now its length is 5 meter, its breadth is 4 meters. Okay, now see here, look up. If four squares are formed along the boundary. Now this is the boundary of this rectangle. Now, it's saying that four squares are formed along the boundary. So, if I make a square along the boundary, that means it's one side is five. So, all sides will be five. And if I make another square like this along the boundary, if one side is four, then all sides will be four. And similarly here, I make another square along the boundary with side 5 meter because rectangle this side is also 5 meters so all sides will be 5 meters and this side also I will make a square whose side is 4 meters okay then you are asked to find what is the perimeter of the figure formed now the new figure that is formed what is the perimeter of this can you find it Yes, children. Please yes, find the perimeter. Yes, please find the perimeter. Ma'am, I got the answer. Yes. What is the answer, Abhya? Ma'am, thirty-six. 
36. Okay, let's check out. Okay, we'll check. Let others also give their answers. Yes, what is the answer? Yes, Bhavesh, give me the answer. Mama did not understand how to find. So you have to find the perimeter. This dot along this dot, dotted boundary. No, now this is a new boundary. Okay, you have to find the perimeter. So let's take this side as 5, this as 5, this is 4. This is 4, this is 4 meters, this is 5 meters, this is 5 meters. Five Mama, what is the answer, ma'am? What is the answer? Mama, 56 meters, ma'am. 56? Yes, ma'am. Adya, you told me 36 or 56? Ma'am, I told 36. 36. Please check. Hari, uh, Harshit, you also check. See here, 5 and 3 times 5 is 5, 3 is 15. I'm taking it like this. And here also 5 into 3 is 15. Okay, this is 15 meters, 15 meters. And here it is 4 plus 4 plus 4. Okay, so that is 4, 3 is 12. And this side is also it is 4 plus 4 plus 4. So that is 12. Okay, so this is along the boundary. Anything left now? No. So this is 30, 15 plus 15 is 30 plus this is 24. So this is coming out to be 54 meters. Yes? Ma'am, now I got the same answer. Okay. Yes, Harshit, you check your answer. Ma'am, actually, I got 62 minus 8, ma'am. I thought 56, ma'am. No, what is the answer now? Correct answer. 54, ma'am. I did the subtraction wrong. 62 okay. minus 8. Okay. You just had to add the lengths of the boundaries. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I'll show you again this this length 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 5 5 5 4 4 and 4 so this was to be added so 5 and 3 times 5 is 5 5 and 5 that is 15 I have taken and here also I have 5 5 and 5 15 taken. This side I have 3 times 4. So 4 3 is 12. 4 3 is 12. And then I added them. Okay. So this is the perimeter. So you can write down here. Perimeter of the figure. is equal to 54 meters, right? Okay. Okay, now children, shall we revise a little bit of fractions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Okay, quickly we'll revise how to add, how to subtract, how to multiply, divide the fractions. The very basics. Okay, let's take up two sums, adding and subtracting of unlike fractions. Okay, this is revision of fractions. I'm taking unlike fractions because in like fractions, we know when the denominators are same, we just add the numerators if it is addition. If, and uh, if subtraction is there, we know that we just subtract the numerators. Okay, I'll just show you. Let's take one example. 1 by 18. Okay, not take 8. 8 by 15 plus 3 by 15. So, children, these are like terms. Why do we call them like terms? Because they have equal denominators. Okay. We have equal denominators. So when the denominators are same, we just add the numerator. So 8 plus 3 will be 11. You get it? Yes, ma'am. I also got it. Same answer. But similarly, suppose if I'm taking it for a subtraction, 7 by 7 minus 5 by 7. Now here also these are like terms. So, whenever there are like terms, means when the denominators are equal, we keep the denominator the same here and just subtract the numerators. So, that is 7 minus 5, then I get 2 by 7. All right? Okay, now let's take some unlike fractions. Now, this is add 1 by 6 to 5 by 8. Now, how do you add this when you have different denominators? So, just a revision now. When we have different denominators, we always take the LCM of these two denominators. So, what is the LCM of 6 and 8? Who can tell me? Ma'am, 24. Yes, 23. Okay. So, 2 3s are 2 4s, right? So, this is 2 into 3 into 4. So, this here comes the LCM, right? 24. Okay, so this is now 24. Now, see here, then 1 by 6, I want to make this 1 by 6 to 24. What will I do? What do I do, children? Multiply. Yes. Multiply with 4. I will multiply this with 4, both numerator and denominator. So, this will become 4 by 24. Ma'am, I got the answer, ma'am. Okay, beta. And when I have to make this as 24, what will I do? To make the denominator 24, I will multiply the multiply. denominator by 3. And the same will be multiplied with the numerator also. So, that becomes 15. So, that means now your denominators are both same. Yes. So, that becomes 12, 4 by 24 plus in place of 1 by 6, I can write 4 by 24. In place of 5 by 8, I can write 15 by 24. So, that gives me the same denominator and the numerators will just add up. That will become 19 by 24. Okay, and so your answer is 19 by 24. Ma'am, I got the same answer, ma'am. Very good, beta. Very nice. Ma'am, I also. Ma'am, this is the chapter going in my school, ma'am. 
chapter going on in your school lovely okay and trilokia did you understand this hello yes ma'am i understood have you done this chapter we started it today ma'am in our school you started it today in your school ma'am we were about to complete this chapter okay in school okay yes ma'am ma i didn't understand ma'am okay see here abhya see when the see these are two unlike fractions no unlike fractions means when the denominators are different numbers okay you understood this okay, ma'am unlike okay. fractions are when the denominators are different numbers so in this case we want to make the denominator same otherwise how can we add you know so what we will do we will take the lcm of both the denominators okay 6 also and 8 also understood this part yes ma okay so when i took the lcm here you can see 2 3 are 6 you know how to take the lcm we have done all this Yes, ma'am. This in the factors and multiples chapter. Two, three. Yes, ma'am. Four, five, eight. Okay. Now we have just two as a common factor here. All right. Okay. So. Okay. Let's we'll multiply the all the rest of the terms. The common factor with the rest of the numbers. Two into three into four. That gives me twenty-four. So the LCM is twenty-four now. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I want to make this one by six with denominator twenty four. So how can I make six convert six to twenty four? If I multiply six with four, I can get twenty four, no? Yes, ma'am. So I will multiply this with four here in the denominator, and the same number has to be multiplied with the numerator also. Okay. It's a okay. very important thing that same number should be multiplied with the numerator also, right? Yes, ma'am. So one into four is four. As we multiply the fractions, how do we multiply fractions? Very simple. You multiply numerator with numerator and multiply denominator with denominator. Denominator. Okay. So one into four is four. Six into four is twenty. Twenty four. Okay, so we get four by twenty-four. Now, same way, we have to convert this five by eight also with denominator twenty-four. So, what will I do in this case? How can I make this eight as twenty-four? I will multiply this with three. Eight into three will give me twenty-three. Yes, ma'am, three. And same number, I will multiply with the numerator also. Yes. So yes. five into three will be fifteen. Okay. So this okay, will be fifteen by twenty-four. Now for one by six, I have four by twenty-four. For five by eight, I have fifteen by twenty-four. Yes, you can see now both the fractions have the same denominator now. Yes, ma'am. Now I can add them easily. Yes, ma'am. We have to add fifteen and four. Fifteen and four. That's it. Okay, and the denominator will be the same. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'll show you the subtraction sum. Okay. Let's take this number. I'm taking small small numbers. Three by four minus one by three. Okay. Now everything is same as what we have done in this question. Only in place of Plus we have minus sign here, right? So how will you do this? See here, you will take the LCM. Now you can see these are unlike fractions. Okay, they are not same. They are unlike. So we will take the LCM of three and four. What is the LCM of three and four? There is no common number between three and four, so the LCM will be twelve. Right, LCM will be twelve. Three into four. Okay, now I want to make this three by four. I want to convert this four to twelve. How can I make this four as twelve in the denominator? 
angle, multiply this with 3. 4 into 3 will give me 12. And the same number I will multiply with the numerator also. 3 into 3 will give me 9. Are you understanding, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Anyone who is not understanding can tell me. Now, 1 by 3. Let's take another fraction, this one. 1 by 3 now. Now, I want to make this 3 in the denominator as 12. What will I multiply this with, Adya? Ma'am, 4. Yes, 4. And what, what will I write here in the numerator? Ma'am, 12. No, here, here. Ma'am, 4, ma'am. 4, okay. So, same number has to be multiplied with numerator also, no? So, yes, ma'am. 1 is 4. Okay, 3 into 4 is 12. So, okay. now you can see for 3 by 4, I have made this 3 by 4 as 9 by 12 and this 1 by 3 as 4 by 12. Yes? So now you can see both the fractions are with the same denominators. Yes? So I will just write the denominator because that need not be changed. Ma'am, I got the answer, ma'am. Ah, so 9 minus 4 will be Five. And hence, you get your fraction as 5 by 12. Okay? Alright, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's take another question here. Multiply, of course, you all know. Is it? Isn't that? Do you know? No. How do we multiply the fractions? Suppose if I have the fraction, say 3 by 4, multiply 1 by 3. How will I do this? Ma'am, we will multiply both numerator and denominator. Very nice. So I will just multiply numerator with numerator and multiply denominator with denominator. 3 into 1 is 3. 4 into 3 is 12. Okay? And it, now see this 3 and 12. I can reduce it to lowest form. Yes, children? This is the answer. You have multiplied. Now, how can I reduce it to lowest form? This is another question. And divide by 3, ma'am. Lowest form. Lowest form means when you have nothing, com no common number between them. Okay, so now we divide by three. Yes. Divide by three, yes. ma'am. Why do we divide by three? From where we get that three? Three is the HCF of three and four. Ma'am, because three is not common number, ma'am. See, I take the HCF of three and twelve. Okay, three ones are three ones are. So this is the HCF of highest common factor of three and four is three. Okay. So, I will divide this with 3. Okay. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. You get it? Ma'am, I didn't understand the division, ma'am. Divide is simple divide, better. We just took out the HCF of the, these two numbers. Okay. And we divided it here. Just write. 3 divided, how do you write this 3 divided by 3? You get 1? Yes, ma'am. How do you divide this 12 divided by 3? How do you divide this? 3 fourths is 12. You can directly yes, write it. 3 fourths are 12 yes. divided by 3. Oh, so that's simple division. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, let's take you to the divide sum. Now, how do we divide? How do we divide the fraction? Um, well, we should first convert it to oh, multiplication by taking its reciprocal. Absolutely. 
Okay, I'm taking the same example to show you the divide. Suppose I tell you divide this uh no. One second, let me take some another example. Okay, this is suppose I have taken the number 12 by 3. Okay, I have taken this fraction 12 by 3 divided by 2 by um, what can I write here? 120. 20. Okay. Okay, I have written 2 by 8. Whatever came to my mind, I just wrote it. Okay, 12 by 3 divided by 2 by 8. Now, how do you divide this? I have always told you the KCR. Now, we need to do reciprocal. Yes. So, for K is to keep. C is to change. R is to reciprocal. Okay. This is just a memory tip, just to remember. Okay. This is not any formula. So, keep the first okay. number the first number, okay, whichever number you are writing first, keep the first number as it is, okay, as okay. it is, no change in this, then next step is change the sign. Now, divide sign always changes to multiply, multiply. okay, then reciprocal of the second number, reciprocal, reciprocal means the numerator will become denominator. The denominator will become numerator. Okay. So, this is the reciprocal. Okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. So, keep the first number as it is. Change the sign. Then, reciprocal of the second number. Okay. So, that is K. CR. Keep the first number as it is, change the sign and reciprocal. Okay. Now I will just multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. Okay. So 12 into 8 is 96 and 2, 3. I have the answer, ma'am. And now you can reduce it to lower form also. Okay. So, when you reduce it to lower form, what will you do? You will find the HCF of these two numbers, the highest common factor, and you will divide it. Okay? You should divide by 6, ma'am. Okay. okay. Which will get 16 by 1. Okay, beta. Very good. So, 96 can be reduced. This is your answer. Okay? If you are asked to find it, you should always try to give your answer in the lowest form. Okay, so this will divide by 6. It's going with 6, Harshit. Okay, 6 yes, divided six by 6 in the denominator is 1. And here it is 6, 1, is 6, and 36, that is 16. Okay. You can so write it as 16. Yes, so that is, the answer is 16. Right, children? Everybody, yes, ma'am. Everybody understood? Yes, ma'am. Bhavesh? Yes, ma'am. Adya? No, yes, ma'am. I also got the same answer. Adya, no, yeah. Ma'am, I understood. Okay. We'll do more practice of it. So, if you have started this, just started in your school, so we'll do it again. Okay? Once we finish the menstruation chapter, we will revise the previous chapters. Okay, I have already told you. Right, children? So, this was a brief uh, revision of the fractions. So, just revise the chapter and then attempt your test. Okay? So, this time the test is objective. Everyone must attempt. Okay? Adya, Bhavesh, Harshit, okay. everyone. No one must miss the okay. test. Okay, no one should miss the test. Okay, children, thank you for today. Ma'am, this time we will get PDF. For test is always a PDF only, Vita. 
Okay. Okay. So you go in the last time we got the options right, ma'am. That's right. Ah, this, is, this is the option test only. Objective test is always the option one. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, in the Vise app, go to the content section and under the content, you have a test section and you can open the test. Ma'am, okay. we have to write the answers in the notebooks also, ma'am. No, no, no need. You just have to just keep your answer book uh, book with you for your calculations but you need not write the answers. You just have to mark the correct option. Okay, ma'am. Okay, Vita. But revise the syllabus thoroughly before attempting the test. Okay, Vita. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you, Vita. You too.